uh, said, you're you're the difference. You're the, you're the reason that things are going up now. Oh, that's so. cool. Um, I would also like to. I, I don't think that's it. I think it's a lot of Tyler too. I mean, he runs the team. There's a lot of you know great things. He's got a bigger role than I do easily. I mean, he's got to score. He's got to, like I said, run the team, play good defense. He's got to play roughly around 40 minutes. So. I would say that the credit is probably to him because without him, I mean, I don't say anything. Any team, I don't think. But how much do you think of having a third or another shooter out on the floor? I mean, stretches the defense out and creates opportunities for it, Tyler and others. It does, yeah. Uh, I would, I, I would agree with that statement. Um, that's just what I try and do, you know, play inside, outside, and you know, just play hard. You've been here a while now. Is this the most confident you felt shooting since you've been here? Uh, I always felt that I was a uh, confident shooter. Just, you know, you have your times you go through a rough patch, but uh, I mean, right now I think you know, I'm shooting pretty good. I'd say. Yesterday, Cal said, I know it was Tony Barbie actually said that in practice before you had a laissez-faire attitude. I wonder if you know what laissez-faire. I've heard means. Of the, I've heard of it before. What, uh, remind me of that. <laughs> well, it's kind of uh, it kind of means like you let things happen. You don't really try to take charge. Yeah, no, I just, I guess I could agree with that. Um, and now it's a little different with the. Uh, what made the difference here? Uh, a lot of it was my dad, and there was a lot of you know, where you want to be, and you know, start looking at life different ways. I mean, uh, you know, it wasn't really being, I would say, honestly, it wasn't really being competitive with basketball. And then it was like, I talked to some friends and you know, a, lot, a lot of older people, and uh, they're like, you know, the competitiveness doesn't, you know, transition just with basketball, it's everyday life. You know, there's going to be a guy to be with you for a job, for girl I mean, anything so if you don't you know step up and you know kind of be a man and honestly you know it's just going to be a really difficult life for you so that's kind of what made me change last week you've played one minute so you played all last year how does that change your perspective about basketball about your career honestly i mean i'm just playing to win right now i don't think about that stuff uh, i mean it happens it happens it's just how i take it and for right now, I'm just kind of doing what I can for you know, guys Kentucky, so it's all it's important to me. Cal said in the locker room that he asked you in front of the guys if you wanted to to give minutes back to you know any of his teammates. And what was your response to that? Uh, it don't matter. I mean, honestly, like it's whoever's gonna help the team win, and I don't care if I play five to you know 40 minutes. It's, I don't. I just want to win. In, so that's it. Five minutes, you'd be okay with it. That's hard to believe. We win. I mean, it's been like that the past two years, so and I had the same mindset with that. So. Was the Vanderbilt game good for you in that your shot was off, but you still got a lot of rebounds? Did that help you show that you can still make a huge impact even if your shot isn't working? Yeah, yeah it was good for me. I thought, uh, I mean, obviously, I think I'm more, I'm more strong with my offensive game, and when that wasn't really kind of filling me out, then I was like, well, I gotta focus, I gotta do something else. And that was where I tried to pick it up on defense and rebound it and then started getting to my legs. And that's where you know, shots start you know, missing, but uh, it was all good. I learned a lot from that and it started building more confidence in me that you, know, you can do other things. Walk me through that, that dunk you had in the second half where you went coast to coast on the, the one-handed dunk. Yeah, no, it was uh, honestly, uh, I've never did this before in any any basketball game I played, but I was trying to get to 21 points uh, as quick as I could. My girlfriend turned 21 today, so <laughs> I was kind of mad at myself for missing that last three. So, but other than that, I mean, that's just that's kind of towards the end of the game, you know, when I knew it was like, you know, it was probably good. Did but, you tell her before the game, Derek? Uh, you're turning 21. I'm going for it. I'm oh no, no. I just, I, you know, my mindset for the game is winning, and then. You know, you can do all these other things. And that's when I knew, you know, when that was all cool, that's what I was trying to, you know, get to where I could. But if she was 30. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Yeah. But if she was 30 years old, I guess that means you'd have to go for 30, right? Yeah, it's, I don't know. You might be, uh, I have to drop her off somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a lot of work. So. Derek, do you feel like you're playing that well, or are you just playing the way that you always could and always knew that you would be? Uh, honestly, I didn't really. I don't think I uh, really knew where I'd be, and that's where like my dad and a group of fans came into play, and they were just like, you know, you can do this, and you know, went from there. Can you talk about talk about that dunk late in the game when you kind of rolls awfully high and the crowd really went crazy? Can you feel the crowd when you do something like that? You know, I feel the crowd, man. I walk into the arena, you know, before the game starts. So you know, it's like that's what I was saying on radio earlier. Uh, you, know, you walk in, you look at the team, and you know, some of them you can tell they're nervous and stuff, and. Uh, Coach is nervous, and then 
you look up and there's 24,000 plus, and you know, like that's just all I need. So I'm cool with that. That that dunk was it pretty cool? Uh, I mean, it's just a play. It's just a play, and you just go from there. Did you realize how high you got up for that dunk? You need to look at the you need to look at the replay. For real? Yeah, no, I'll check it out. I'm sure I'll see it. That's cool. It's very matter of fact here. Is there a, somebody jumping up and down inside of you? I mean, the way things have come along the last week or so. Uh, I think uh, I'm kind of proud of myself for you know, a lot of a lot of the stuff that I've did so far. But you know, then it's again, you know, you can't be content with where you're at. You know, you have to always progress. And, and if you're not progressing, then you know, why are you doing it? What's, what's changed? From what, what part of your game has evolved the most in your mind? It's mine, honestly. I could do all that. I've always been able to do that, all this stuff. I mean, you you learn certain things, you know, about the game as you go, but it's all in your mind. I think. It's just all it is mental. Was there a point where that clicked in your head that, mm -hmm. hey, I could do this? Yeah, it was about around Auburn game, maybe a little before that, and then just kind of went from there. Cal's kind of suggested that you guys have played desperate 